So the next important feature of Teams is the ability that you have to actually join meetings. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go through that because this is where you're going to do video calls and this is really going to be an important part of what you're doing with Teams. So if you have a pre-scheduled meeting, that is a meeting that you've already scheduled with uh, a teacher, for example, with a class, the, the teacher is going to put that in and all you have to do to find that is over here under the calendar, you click on that and it will pop up your calendar and it will tell you where your meetings are. Okay, so here's a meeting that was canceled, but that's that's a meeting that you could join. And what will happen is if the meeting's scheduled, um, you can just click on the join. You'll see it down here. There's a join button. Okay, so if you have a scheduled meeting, you can do that. It's a very easy process. Now, if you want to schedule a meeting, uh, you can log on to tabs, log on to Teams, sorry, not tabs. So you go to you go to the team where you want to schedule a meeting. So I'm going to go to the testing group because that's just the one that our uh, group of teachers that are putting these things together has, has done. And then you're just going to click on the post tab. You'll see a meet button right here. Okay. So you're going to click on that and you're going to click on schedule a meeting. If you click meet now, you will start a meeting right away. And that's not generally what you want to do. So you want to schedule a meeting. So we're going to click on that. And then it asks you to enter the title of your meeting. So I'm going to call it test meeting. And it's going to ask you to schedule it. When do you want it? It's going to ask you about um, who's supposed to come. So you can kind of go through this, but you can add, if I start typing, um, it will jump to some of the people. So there's Miss Eckstone. Um, you can type in the people that you want to add. If you add meeting requirements, then they get an invite. If you don't, then it's just scheduled in the team itself. Okay. And then you can put in your meeting. You can put it in actually at any time. So let's say I'm going to type mine in at 8.46 p.m., okay? And I'm going to hit send. And then what's going to happen is if I go to my calendar, just to show you, it's now there and there's my join button, okay? So that's how you do it. And if you want to meet right away, you can click the meet now button. Okay, and then anybody can see that. So what happens when you join a meeting? So I just want to show you this uh, by actually joining this meeting. So I'm going to join my meeting. And the first thing it's going to ask you to do is it's going to ask you, what do you want to do for audio and video? Okay. So I'm going to do that in here. I'm just going to show you this in here because I already have this kind of set up. Um, so I'll just join it in here because this is the desktop app. But when it, when you go there, you'll notice that I'm just going to X out of this. Um, you'll notice that you have a couple different options. Okay, so once you once you join the meeting, when you go first start, start to join the meeting, you can just click on Join Now. Okay, and then once I do that. It will allow me into the meeting, hopefully. And you'll have some functions about, do you want, so here we go. So do I want my camera on? Okay. Do you want your microphone on or off? Do you want to mute yourself or not? Those are a couple of different options. Um, the third one allows you to actually share your screen. So if I hover here, um, it's being a little slow, but that actually allows me to share my screen. Okay, if you want to do that. And then if you click here, it gives you a number of different options. So I'll just kind of go through those. You can bring up the settings menu and, and see some things with those three dots. The the other one, that, the other thing it allows you to do right here, again, if this is, you can raise your hand. Okay, so if you're in a meeting with your teacher, you can raise your hand and then your teacher will know, okay, this person has a question. This is the conversation tab. If I click on that, it will just open up sort of a chat on the side that you can go through and type. 
And you can do the same things in here that you could do in the conversation tabs before. So you'll, you'll notice these things are here. And you can also shout out to somebody if you type in at whoever. Okay. It's, it's the people that are in the meeting. Since I'm the only person in the meeting, I can't really do that. And then you'll notice as well that up here you can close that out if you don't want to see it anymore. If you have it closed and somebody says something, it will pop up a little notification there. Okay. And then the other thing that you can do is you can actually click on this and it will show your participants. It will tell you who else is in the meeting. Okay. So right now, I'm the only one that's in the meeting. Okay. But if you're having a meeting with your class and you're wondering, I wonder if that person's logged in, then you can see if they are here. Okay. So those are all the sort of little functionalities. The last thing that you do, actually, I guess I should show you that too, because this is important as well. This is where you actually, the little red button there, that's how you hang up. That's how you end your meeting. Okay. So those are all important features of, of, of meeting. And it's important that you know those things, especially the raise your hand, the chat, and how to turn your mic and camera on and off. Okay. Very important things. You want to make sure you're muted. You click on that button. As the organizer, um, you can actually go in here if you've organized the meeting and you can actually mute everybody. If there's more than one person in the meeting, you can actually just click mute all and it will mute everybody. Okay. And you can switch your camera around and do some other things in the settings. So if you go in here, you can actually go in and change some of your device settings, like what's your audio, what's your video, that kind of thing. All right. So um, the other thing that you might want to know about is sharing your screen. So if you're meeting with a group of, of, of students that are in your class and you're trying to do something uh, and you want to share your screen, you're just going to click on this button here. And then once it loads up here, which it might take a second to do, it will give me some options about sharing my screen. Okay. So what you can do is you can you can share your screen that you have in front of you. If you have two monitors, you can share the other screen as well. I'm using two monitors right now. That's why it's sharing screen one and two. You can also share a particular window. So if you just want to share what you're doing in an app. So for example, if you just want to share your Microsoft Word, you can do that. Uh, and then over here, you actually have the option of just the PowerPoint. You can actually share a PowerPoint, just a PowerPoint. And you can click on browse and pick a particular PowerPoint. And then over further, you have these. And if I click on the Microsoft whiteboard, it just literally opens up a whiteboard. And I'll just click on that just to show you. And anybody can draw on that. You can just sort of sketch. It's sort of like a brainstorming thing. So you can kind of draw on that with a pen. And Again, it's, it's being a little slow, but it'll, it'll pop up eventually. So that's kind of what you can do with sharing your screen. And I'll come back to that in a second. But you can share your whole screen. You can share a window. You can run a PowerPoint slide. Or you can share that whiteboard. And it doesn't appear that it's going to pop up. So I'll just stop presenting for now. But you can click on it. It'll show you what it looks like. If you are sharing your screen, um, it might be important for you to know, okay, what what does that look like um, and because it's acting up I can't really show you that very well maybe I can do it with just a PowerPoint let's try to just I'll just click and share my my actual screen uh, with you maybe so I'll, I'll share this this is my settings thing that I have open down here. It doesn't really matter what you share, but then what pops up, what you should see is this little red box. And that sort of says, okay, I'm sharing my screen and that's what my screen looks like. If you want to stop doing that, um, you can go back into your meeting and you'll see this little X here. And I just click on that and it stops the sharing. Okay. Now, just so you know what's going on with the settings, because that follows along, sorry, I'm clicking on the wrong thing, with what we're doing here. Uh, when you go into your settings, you can do a bunch of different things. You can, if I go in here, oh, 
sorry, this is a little slow. But if I click on this, it will give me a, a series of options. And you can change your video audio options to a set of headphones or whatever else you might want and those kind of things. And unfortunately, it's not letting me do that right now. But you can see the screenshot. Sorry, I'm clicking on too many things. But you can see the screenshot here. So it kind of explains what each of them do. So if you look at your device settings, it'll tell you what are you using for a speaker? What do you want your volume to be? That kind of thing. You can actually record if you want to. You can also blur your background. So if you don't want people to see what's behind you, um, you can do that. And so then it just shows you, but it doesn't show anything else in the room. It's just you. You can actually also uh, put different backgrounds in if you want to do that, but you can select a wallpaper. And again, I will try to show you that. There we go. So I can go in here and show my background effects and it will allow me to decide to use some sort of background setting. So you can kind of pick something and what happens then is in your video um, if I click on preview I think it'll show me I guess maybe it, maybe it won't oh there we go so it kind of shows <coughs> excuse me the background is this now not whatever's behind you so if you want that or you just want to blur it you can click on that it's a nice little feature if you just want to add something fun or or pretend you're in a different room <laughs> there's some nice rooms there you just want to add some weird background you can do that so that's another way to to change your background especially if you're in um i don't know if you're at home and you don't want people to see what is behind you maybe your bedroom's messy and you don't want them to know that kind of thing all right so those are the kind of things you can do with that and then if you again if you go if you show to your device settings it seems to be working now then you can see i'm using a set of headphones to do this and you can see what volume the microphone is and you can use the camera and all those sort of things so that takes you through i think most of what is going on in a meeting it's a long video and that but it's really, really important that you know those kind of things because that's what you're going to be having to do most of the time with teams. You're going to be wanting to be able to schedule meetings uh, with other people, join meetings that your teacher has scheduled, and interact in those meetings. So I apologize for the length of the video, but I think it's a, that one's a really, really important one to understand.